Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and I believe this is part five of the beginner guide. So yesterday we left off. We had been working on getting some gold, really stabilizing our gold income. We've got a bunch of food farms that are giving us food, and we also have this heroic race that's going on. So we were left with, we had to get one more of these gems by collecting gold. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that gem. Yes! Oh yeah. So starting off strong here, looking good. Ooh, okay. Now our next mission is going to be to win a league battle. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's try this. Here we're going to go to battle, leagues, and let's give this a try. I'm going to go with, uh, this looks like a level 11 opponent, and our dragons aren't there at the moment. Let's get some strong dragons up in here. Uh, that's looking pretty good. These dragons are only level 10. Let's see, we want some level 15 dragons. So I'm going to go grab that volcano dragon. And, ooh, okay, so we want another level 15 dragon. Those are our three strongest dragons. Let's try this. Fingers crossed. Let's go. I hope everybody's enjoying this video so far. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like if you are. And stay tuned because we're going to be covering more techniques on how to get food, how to get gold, and how to progress in the heroic race. Here, we're doing great in this league battle so far. We've got one uh, dragon down and two dragons left to go to be able to get the win here. So let's keep this rolling. Yes, awesome. We've got one dragon left to take care of. I think flaming arrows is our strongest move here. Yeah, there we go. And we should have this. Here, we've got two dragons left, only one dragon left to take care of. Nuclear hit. Let's go. Yas Queen, Patang, victory is ours. Here we're going to go ahead and claim that food, although I do recommend playing that ad to get 10 times the reward of 5,000 food. Beautiful. Ooh, and that gave us some tokens there. Very interesting. There must be another event going on. Ooh, okay. Here we've got this. Corrupted Fog. Okay. Uh, we'll look at that in another video. Super cool. Here, it looks like we have to tap that, and uh, I guess, okay, now I don't have a choice. Okay, and we found a reward in the square. You must find all the pieces of the dragon to get it. Okay, so can I exit that? No, we've got to claim this. Okay, and you can go back using the path you've created, keep on moving, and unve unveil the whole map. Eh, I don't want to go back, though. Can you <laughs> can you cancel that? Okay, looks like we don't have a choice. Alrighty, here, information. Ooh, this is how to get fog coins. Those are the coins we saw, the tokens. So you can get fog coins by performing different actions in the game, but remember, there's a limit. Huh. Come back at different times to get the greatest number of fog coins possible. So like gold, you can get a max of five. Food, you can get a max of 25. I think that's feeding dragons. You can get a max of 60. Battles, max of 75. Breeding, a max of 150. Um, breeding, hatching, I'm not 100% sure what those are, but very interesting. We'll do some research. We'll make a video specifically on this. So stay tuned for that. For now, we've got some more magic to make happen. Yes. And here, our next uh, mission for lap two, node four, is we have to get food and we have to get items from battles. So let's do this here. Uh, I'm going to go with our Aztec dragon. Feeling it right now. And hopefully we'll be able to get the victory here. Ooh, okay. Our strongest move is Tumbleweed. Let's give this a try. Off to a good start here. Okay, yes, we got this. Beautiful. And victory is ours. Perfect. Now we've got to wait about 15 minutes for our next battle. No problem. We're going to collect our food here. Beautiful. And, huh, we're not getting any of those dragon fruit right now. But we are getting the fog coins. Super cool. So here we've got that. And, huh, okay, so we didn't get any of those dragon fruit. Now, yesterday I was collecting gold and we weren't getting any of the gems either. So what I think is the deal is you have to have this little icon where it says that your habitat is full of gold. 
If it's uh, transparent or full, then you have better chances of getting a gem. Doesn't guarantee it either, but it'll give you more chances. And if you collect it when it isn't full, eh, your chances aren't so good. So here what we're going to do is we're going to grow food, but I'm going to try growing the fastest food. Hopefully that gives us a little boost there. Oops, didn't mean to collect that gold, but that's all good. 30 seconds. Here, grow food. We're going to go to 30 seconds. Let's see if this will be enough. You know, it just says collect food. It doesn't say how much food you have to collect. So I'm going to give this a try here. And we'll see what happens. Yesterday, we were upgrading our habitat. So for example, here, we upgraded our flame habitat. We upgraded this flame habitat. And we ended up upgrading this habitat as well. So now our habitats are doing pretty good here. We're getting some progress going and we're going to be able to collect a lot more gold overall. Here we've got our food that's starting to be ready. Oops, collected some more gold there. No biggie. It's all good. And there we go. Yes, there's a dragon fruit. Beautiful. So here we're going to regrow all. We just got a dragon fruit. So I guess it doesn't matter you know, the kind of food that you grow or how long it takes. You just got to collect that food. We also built this electric habitat here. So let's go ahead, collect that experience. Yes, queen. And we just leveled up to level 14. We got a free gem. Love it, as always. And here we also got the terra crystal. What's that? Sea habitat. You can upgrade that to level 2 now. And an extra habitat. Super cool. I'm loving it. That looks really great. Here, I'm going to have to pass on the offer. But super stoked. We're getting some good progress here. And our food is ready. Let's go. So here we're going to collect some food. Huh. Oop, okay, clumsy thumbs. <laughs> no biggie there. I don't know if we got any dragon fruit, but we're going to keep on growing that food. And eh, we're still at one out of seven. So this is definitely a little bit tricky here. Um, you know, I was saving my gold for um, the quest, but I think... I think I'm going to collect a little bit of gold here just so it can start refreshing itself because when it's a solid gold brick there, that means your habitat is maxed out on gold. You won't be able to get any more. It's at the max capacity. So here, let's do that food again. Okay, not seeing any dragon fruit. Heh, we're still at one. So maybe my 30 second food technique isn't the best there, but we're still experimenting a little bit to see how to crush it here. Ooh, oh my gosh, no way. Okay, so here, we're not qualified yet. We're not qualified for the rewards, but I mean, not feeling too shabby about being in first place right now. This doesn't mean anything though, because there's still eight days and 18 hours, but there's this new dragon, the beautiful High Whisperer Dragon. And I love purple. Oh my gosh. So I can't help but really be um, desiring, I guess you could say, to add this to a dragon to my collection. So who knows where the wind blows, but I'm going to do my best to try to at least qualify for the rewards. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to get them, but even second and third place and fourth to eighth place can give you some rewards there. So you just got to make sure you qualify for those rewards to be able to get them. Let's keep this going. And don't see any dragon fruits there. Hmm. Okay. So there we're going to keep that going. Perfect. And here, we've got this tower as well, the Meridian's Tower that we've been working on a little bit. And, okay, flame element. Let's, eh, I don't necessarily want to send my strongest dragons, but I still want to get the victory. How's that? So there, we're sending like our level 6, 7, 10, and 10 dragons. I mean, we've got high chances, but will it be good enough for getting the tower piece? Well, we'll know that in 3 minutes and 35 seconds. Here, back to our food. Come on, dragon fruit. Yes, come through. There we go. Perfect. So there, we just got another dragon fruit. Love it. So we're going to keep working on that. We're at 2 out of 7. Meh. You know, slowly but surely getting that progress. And that's what you got to do. Here, I want to expand. I think it's about time. Let's do this. But here, it's 50,000 to expand with gold. You can also do gems. I don't necessarily recommend that just because gems are so hard to get. Here in the sidebar, every now and then you're gonna see an expansion event. 
Um, it's like a moment in the game where you get a price reduction on your expansion. So I'm not in the mood to wait. I'm going for it. And we just expanded and caught this beautiful chunk of land here. Now we're going to be able to grow some more habitats and I'm going to be a little bit more interested in, in how I organize things because I mentioned that we really got to get our organization going on here. Oh, and by the way, here we've got our Dragon TV that we unlocked recently after 21 days of playing the game. So if you don't have it yet, just be patient. Once you've been playing the game for 21 days, you will get your Dragon TV. And here it looks like we're going to be able to get that three gem, another tally towards getting those three gems. And I already watched 10 ads earlier, which gave me a bunch of those fog coins as lo uh, along with a little bit of food and a little bit of gold. So here, let's go ahead and collect that food. Yes, another dragon fruit. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, whoops, wrong button. Here, I want to see if we can build another farm. Buildings, yes, okay, we can. So, eh, we've got enough gold to do it. I'm going to build that farm right there. Uh, place it right there. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. And we're going to go ahead and grow that 30-second food. Patang, there we go. And if you're wondering what patang is, it's kind of like awesome. It's like a, a onomatopoeia of excitement. It's kind of just a word I've said for a while, uh, a couple years now. And it's just like, yes, Yas Queen, awesome, super cool, you know, stuff like that. So um, hopefully you're enjoying my positive vibes that I always try to share with everybody. Here, this is going real good. We're going to let that food go, keep it growing, and yes, we got a dragon fruit there, rock on. I want my food to be a little bit more time together, so let's go regrow there, and one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to regrow this as well, and then we're going to try to sync them up in just a second. Uh, ba -ba -ba, let's see, here we've got a habitat right here, can we move this? And eh, not too much space, okay, so I'm a little bit tight on space base here. Oh, I see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to move that electric habitat and I just want to line up my food farms on the perimeter. There we go. So we're going to group these food farms together a little bit here. It's going to be a little bit of rearranging, but it's going to be, whoops, a lot easier to be able to collect all that food in one smooth motion or like a couple smooth motions. <laughs> Beautiful. So here, a uh, food farm. We're going to bring this one back and will it fit there? Yes, perfect. And then here we're going to bring this electric habitat in. Now, in the future, I'm going to be grouping all of my habitats together, but for now, eh, I'm not too worried about the placement. And like I said, there's going to be a video on how to organize your dragon city. So, you can always watch that video if you want to watch on really organization techniques, but for now we're just, you know, doing a little bit of cleanup, just a little bit. Beautiful. So there we're growing our food. That's looking great. Let's grab another farm, move it back here, and we just want it as close as possible. I think that's good. Perfect. Yeah. So that's looking real good there. Here we've got another food way out yonder, and we're going to try to squeeze it in. Yes, right there. Perfect. So it's a little bit tight, but it fits. There we go. Awesome. So that's going real good over here. Collect that food, keep it going, regrow. So now we've got six farms working for us at once. We're already at six out of seven of getting those items by collecting the food. Here, we've got five minutes left before we can do our next battle. And, ooh, hello, Meridian Tower, Yoss Queen. There we go, we just got Meridian's Tower, the first uh, tier completed. And next up, or the first stage completed, next up we're going to have stage two. So here, let's see, mission, you can always click that, go directly. Interesting. So now we need flame and sea. Here, I've only got sea dragons or flame dragons. There's no dragons necessarily fitting that criteria. So now you can see that my chances aren't as good as they were when we had the specific requirement uh, completely completed. So maybe I'm going to breed a sea and flame dragon to help us out there. 
Here, let's keep growing that food. Did we get our pomegranate? Not yet. Okay, patience is a virtue. We got this. And I know, here, I've got gold. I'm not tapping it on it just yet, just in case we get another quest that comes up where we have to tap for the gold. Here, we've got this rock that's kind of in the way. So I'm going to clear that. Ooh, that's going to take four hours. Okay, well, we'll come back later for that. Here, let's see, our food's almost ready, and I'm super stoked, come on, pomegranate, come through. Eh, not that time, I don't think we got it. Okay, we're gonna keep trying, we got this. And this right here means that I can spin again. It's our free spin of the day. But I'm doing pretty good with these battles so far, and we're not too shabby when it comes to collecting food. So I don't wanna waste my spin on something that I know I can relatively easily accomplish. So this is going good. Here, let's see what's next here. Food's gonna be ready in three seconds. And there we go, collect the food. I didn't see a pomegranate. Nope, not yet, okay. So we're gonna keep working on that. And here we've got some other islands. We're not there yet at all. But this island, we're kinda getting closer to. We still have to expand here, and I definitely don't have the gold for that, so I'm gonna be patient, and maybe wait for an expansion event where we can get that rebate in the uh, price that it costs to expand. Uh, and okay, so here, things are going good. I've also got eggs to hatch. I don't know if there's gonna be a quest for that, so I'm just gonna save those real quick. Here, keep that going, still not there. Okay, we got this. Uh, here we've got the Colosseum. And I actually have some of my habitats hidden behind the Colosseum. So for sake of organization, we should definitely reorganize that. And uh, I don't have any space right now, so that's kind of the only place I could put it. But ideally, I want to invert or reverse those. I'm gonna put my habitats in front of the Colosseum because I wanna see what my dragons are doing on their habitat. You know, I wanna see what dragons I have on that habitat and so uh, so forth. So, well, it, you know what I mean. <laughs> Beautiful. So here, trying to get that pomegranate. Still have a minute, 30 seconds left for that fight, um, for that battle. Hmm. I'm curious, what's this over here? Oh, it's like a bush, okay, perfect. So let's go ahead, clear that, 30 seconds, meh, why not? Here, we've got this dragon, huh, 50 gems to save the caged dragon. Eh, in my book, that's still a lot of gems, and I'm saving my gems to upgrade my hatchery. So I'm not gonna be spending that just yet, but here, yeah, if we select our hatchery, we needed, yeah, 60 gems here. We're almost there to getting all those gems so that we can upgrade our hatchery capacity to four eggs at a time. So that's kind of what I want to save my gems for right now. And uh, I'm going to be patient on that. Um, you, if you don't want to get the dragon, you can also clear it. Here you can see bottom right corner, clear dragon. I don't know. Maybe I'll want to get it after all. We'll see where the wind blows. But for now, I'm just going to leave it there. Come on, dragon fruit. Okay, didn't see it, that's okay. Here, nope, we don't have that yet. 27 seconds, we're gonna get another round of food and then we're gonna go and try to get the victory for that next battle. Let's do this. So here, we're doing good, we're getting some progress slowly but surely and I'm really excited about where we're going here. Um, to get to the next island, you have to heal the whole island here, and I think that it might cost gems to expand to the next island. So that's going to be another thing that we want to save our gems for here. And ooh, we're so close to getting that next dragon fruit there. Let's go ahead, work it here, and try to win this next battle. I'm going to use my strongest dragon because I don't want to take any chances. And okay. So this dragon is, uh, it has a good defense against earth and fire. So I didn't necessarily choose the best dragon because, well, those are my two top moves, but no biggie. Stunning hit, here we come. And eh, not too shabby. Okay, come on universe, help us pull this off. Yes, oh my Lantis. 
Thank goodness we just got that there. I'm so excited. So now all we have to do is get another dragon fruit, cross my fingers, hope to farm. And we didn't get it there. Okay. That's fine. Um, so that's going nice, smoothly, and surely. Um, you know, I kind of want to hatch an egg, but at the same time, I don't know if we're going to have a quest for it. I know that we had a quest to hatch uh, to breed dragons, pardon me. So if we uh, if we have a quest to hatch the dragon, I don't want to uh, finish breeding here. Technically, these dragons are ready, but our hatchery is full. So I want to be careful, go nice and slowly there, do it one thing at a time. Come on, dragon fruit. Ah, nothing there. Okay, we're going to try that again. We're close, but not quite there tree that's only a hundred to clear okay i want to kind of start getting this island ready because i can't wait to expand over here i know i'm thinking long term but um you know i'm gonna be playing this hopefully for a while so far it's going pretty well and i'm really enjoying this so i'm kind of thinking long-term goals here and you know you're probably wondering how does she know that it might be gems in the future well i actually have played this game before I played it before, I didn't really get that far, and I ended up, you know, moving on to another game. But I ended up coming back to Dragon City, and this time I think that I'm falling in love with this game. It is so much fun, there's a lot of cool aspects to it, and I love the fact that there's like these extra mini games here that you can play. There's the Heroic Race, here we've got the Corrupted Fog, and should we try this? Let's see. We've got 805 tokens, and looks like you can uncover land, you can get the next piece, and you can reveal area. I don't want to spend my gems, uh, my tokens on that just yet. Here, we've got the Howl Dragon. It's The next space is six steps away. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go to the left. Let's see if this works. Here we've got a silver chest. Um, you can get, ooh, gems. You know I like gems. Oh, yeah. So here we're going to try that, and let's just go for it. Come on, baby. Big money, big money. Not too shabby at all. I'll take it. Yeah. And now we're seven steps away from the Howl Dragon. So that means it, I went in the wrong direction. So we're going to want to go more to the right. But the Overshadow Dragon, now we're two steps away from it. So that's pretty interesting there. Here we're going to get our food. Come on, pomegranate. Ah, okay. So no pomegranate there. Nope. Let's go back here. Why not? Let's do this. Um, two steps away from the Overshadow Dragon. Here, I'm going to take one more step. Let's see what we get. Come on, big money, big money. 12,000 gold. That's good. I'll take it. Oh, and now we're one step away. Check it out. So the Overshadow Dragon. For the Howl Dragon, you only need four pieces. For the Overshadow Dragon, you need six pieces. So in the long scheme of things, getting the Overshadow Dragon piece is a little bit risky because it's going to be harder to get all six pieces, but I'm feeling it. Yes. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and now we're actually getting closer to a different Howl Dragon piece. Now we're five steps away from a next piece. So that's very interesting there. Ooh, Cult Princess? Or, no, Cult Priestess, three steps away. Okay, that looks pretty powerful. Ooh, Socks for One Dragon. Interesting. Okay, well, here, I'm just getting distracted. Let's get back to getting that pomegranate with the food. Come on. Ah, no pomegranate, que cazza. Okay, so we're gonna give it another try. Let's keep it going. And, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, how's this going? So right now we're doing pretty good. We're getting a little bit of progress here and there. There's still a couple things though that I'd like to do. And we're not exactly there yet. Um, the farm, ooh, wait, I see a rock behind our little dragon here. We're gonna clear that rock there. And get that food. Come on, give us a pomegranate. Huh. Okay. So nothing there either. Darn. So here, we're going to regrow our food and keep trying. Because the best tip I can give you is to not give up. 
Giving up is not an option. It doesn't matter if you get all the rewards, just do your best and always try to improve your personal best. And you know, that's some really good life advice as well, not just gamer advice. Um, I definitely stand by that and I truly believe in it. Yeah, here, let's go, Corrupted fro Fog. Come on, let's do this. So here we're gonna go and get this chest and ooh, we got two pure essence pieces. I like that. Can we do anything with that? What's here? Oh, okay. So here for the Corrupted Whispers event, we just got two pure essence. We're at three now. We need 10 to be able to collect that first reward. But here, when it comes to the Dragon TV collection, we've got three of the blue Dragon TV coins. So why not? Let's collect it here. And we got two of those orbs. Uh, for here, this chest we saw, it can give you various items, no gems there. Okay, I'll take whatever comes our way. So let's keep this going. We're gonna collect all three of these. 3,000 food, ooh, that's great. I hope that counted for the dragon fruit, but I doubt it. Um, and they're one of those, okay, cool. So now we collected our rewards, things are looking good. And let's see if we can get the job done here. Mm, okay, so not quite. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a chance growing a five minute food and then the rest I'm gonna regrow. Here, that's gonna take a little bit longer, but hopefully it'll give us more chances in getting that seventh and final pomegranate. I wonder, is there maybe like a timer on this? I don't know. Seems to be kind of difficult. We were doing really good at getting the progress in food and now I kind of feel like I'm in a block. So, you know, Taking a break from the game, coming back to it sometimes, maybe that'll give you better chances and just coming back refreshed and nice and sharp will be good. You know, that's a good gaming tip as well. It's normal to get tired when you game a lot, so I recommend taking, you know, breaks every now and then. But whatever floats your boat, as long as it floats. Here, ooh, interesting. Okay, we've got the sea habitat. I'm gonna collect the gold. And can we upgrade that? Ah, oh, not enough space. Okay. We can't move that. I'm really tight when it comes to placement here. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Here, we're gonna move this habitat back. Just trying to optimize our space here. And yes, food's ready. Okay, perfect. Come on, pomegranate. Ah, still nothing there. Let's give it another chance. And of course here, I could watch an ad, but if I'm gonna watch an ad for food, might as well uh, grow the 30 minute food because um, when you watch an ad, you can fast forward like 30 minutes of food growth time or you know hatching time or uh, I think breeding time too. So we'll see where the wind blows for that. Come on universe, give me that pomegranate. Big money, big money. Hey, nothing there, okay, fine. So. Here, we're gonna go for that, and I'm kind of tempted that I'm going to the Corrupted Fog. So here, we've got 210 gems left. That gives me enough for one more. Here, Howl Dragon, four steps. Overshadow Dragon, five steps. I'm going to the left, and what are we gonna get here? Ooh, yes, a gem, I'll take that any day, rock on. And now, okay, Howl Dragon. We're getting closer to another piece of the Howl Dragon. And there's a piece right there as well. Um, if I had to guess, I'm guessing it's the socks for one dragon, because the next piece is in two steps. Uno, or one, two. So that's two steps right there, so I'm guessing that's the socks for one dragon. Back to food. Huh, okay, so we're not getting much luck there. It's okay. And here we're going, we're doing our best. If I don't get the food this time, we're going, or you know, with the two minutes, 10 seconds left here, if we don't get the food with all that, I guess I'll try my spin. Cause I wanna keep this progress moving along here. Um, so this is going really well. We've got some progress. We've got a couple, um, you know, difficulties that we're trying to get and overcome and, you know, get past here. So we're gonna keep this going. And eh, nothing there. Okay, regrow. Maybe my 30 second food technique isn't the best. I'm not 100% sure. Huh. 
here we've got some easy, that's a bush, so we can clear that, that'll give us a little bit of experience, but we're nowhere near being near, or being on this island. So I'm just doing that kind of for fun. Um, and then here, ooh, 75. I'm kind of tempted, Howl Dragon, three steps. Overshadow Dragon, four steps. Let's see what happens when we go down one space. 5,000 food, oh yeah, looking good. And here we're two steps away from the Howl Dragon, so we're closer, but we're further from the Overshadow Dragon and the Socks for One Dragon, we're just one step away. So feeling pretty good about that, awesome. So here we're out of the fog uh, coins, so back to business in Dragon City. Hmm, that's not working out for me there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to grow food Mm, how much gold did we have? We've only got 16,000 food. Okay, so here I'm going to grow food. Uh, let's see. We're going to do two hours. And here we're going to do two hours. And then for the rest, we're going to do a little bit less long. We're going to do 30 minutes. 30 minutes over here. We're gonna wrap this up in about five minutes in this video here, but I'm gonna be coming back to this game today because I wanna get those rewards. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So here, uh, yeah, 30 minute food, perfect. And come on universe, give us that pomegranate. Oh no, okay. That's okay, I'll take it. I mean, that's the way it goes sometimes. Here, we're gonna go ahead and grow some 30 minute food and why not? Let's take a chance, let's spin and Hope for the best. Fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Ooh, what does that even mean? Mission complete. I'll take it. Okay, so that might have been more efficient if I hadn't done anything, but at least we finished that food quest there. So what's our next quest? Get items by feeding dragons 10 times and get items by breeding dragons. Ah, I knew it. Okay, so here we got to breed dragons. Let's do this. So we're going to hatch an egg. Ooh, and there's a sea and flame dragon. We needed that for the Meridian Tower. So I will absolutely feed this dragon. Oh yeah, give us some beetles over here. Beautiful. So here we're getting a bunch of fog tokens. We're not getting too many beetles. Oh, there's a few more coming in. Awesome. And we're just gonna try to get this dragon to level 15. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. And okay, so we're maxed out on our dragon level there for now. Love it. Here, next up, we're gonna breed that dragon. And yes, we got the olive branch, perfect. Here, a next thing I wanna do is I wanna breed sea and flames so that we can get another dragon for the Meridian Tower quest. So I'm gonna use a level five sea dragon and a level six flame dragon. Feeling pretty good with that. And we're gonna breed Five hours, ooh, that's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm patient, we got this. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and hatch the friendship dragon, because it's ready, why not? We're gonna place this right here, and I'm not gonna be able to finish any other quests in this video, so I'm gonna collect that gold and make sure that everything's ready for some more gold. So that way that when we get back here, we're gonna have gold waiting for us, and we're gonna be as efficient as we can with everything. Here, next up, we've got, ooh, the jelly dragon. That is beautiful, okay, love it. And we're gonna put that jelly dragon right here. I'm not gonna feed the dragon right now for, uh, the, uh, for the fact that, um, oh wait, I am gonna feed the dragon. We're not done with the quest. I thought we were done, okay. Hey jelly, what's up? Let's go ahead and make some hocus pocus happen over here. Come on, we want some beetles. Ooh, it just turned green, okay. I love neon colors, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, this is a cool dragon. Okay, interesting. So here we're not getting any beetles and before we were. I don't know if there's a time limit on how many of those you know, rewards you can get in a certain amount of time, but I'm starting to think maybe there's a time limit on that. Interesting. Okay, so here, oh, hatch time 24 hours. There's practically 24 hours left on that dragon. Let's just go ahead and um, we got an electric habitat. So I'm gonna do electric there. That's a 30 minute hatch time, not too shabby. And wrong button. Here, we're gonna go ahead and 
Why not? I'm going to hatch another electric dragon. Rock on. Here we're going to collect that experience. And um, yeah, that's about it for now. Here, things are looking pretty good. We're just going to wait, be patient, and I'll be back to the game to keep this going. But before I leave, the way to maximize your gold is collect everything you have. So when I get back here, we'll hopefully have all of our habitats maxed out on gold. We're going to be able to collect all that gold there and we're going to be able to reinvest it in more things. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Earlier today, we were playing and we did a little bit of progress and I can't help and I can't stop thinking about this heroic race. There's still eight days, 12 hours left in it. And right now we were waiting on uh, getting items by feeding dragons and get items by breeding dragons. And I think that our dragons are done breeding. Here we've got an electric egg that's ready to be hatched into our electric dragon. Awesome. And we just discovered the electric dragon for the first time. That's going to be a great dragon to feed. And let's cross our fingers and, ooh, wait a second. Did that count as a breed right now? Uh, let's go check this out over here. <gasps> oh, my Lantis. Okay, so that did not count for breeding a dragon there. Hmm. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and try breeding another dragon. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to rebreed the dragons that we just did. Do I dare do that? Um, let's try earth and, oh, wait, plant and water. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what we're going to go. So that looks like a great breeding opportunity there. <gasps> okay, well, this time it's going to take 16 hours, so that's going to take a little bit longer. We'll be back tomorrow to check this out. So that puts a little bit of a pause on that for now, but we still have all this gold we can collect, and that's going to help us for in the future. Here, I'm going to go ahead, go there, and we've got our electric dragon that we are going to start feeding. Yeah, getting tons of those fog coins there, and there's a beetle. Yes, and yes, we got another beetle. Perfect. Here, you know what? I'm just going to go all the way as high as we can go, hopefully level 15, eh, but we're out of food, so we're at level 8 right there. Looking pretty good. And here, yes, so we managed to finish uh, the quest for feeding the dragons, but we still have to breed another dragon. Mm, okay, well, we're just going to be patient and wait for that breeding to finish. It's going to take 16 hours, so definitely going to be practicing my patience here. Here, I'm going to go ahead, collect all the food that we have. Yeah, looking good. I want to upgrade my big food farm here, so let's go ahead and do that. Beautiful. And next up, we're going to grow more food here. Ooh, okay. Uh... Do I go with the rainbow sprouts or the little blooms? I'm going to do one rainbow sprouts, and I think the rest is going to end up being little blooms there. Yeah, that looks perfect. Here, we're going to run a little bit low on food, or on gold, pardon. So, we're going to go with single spear corn. Perfect. And single spear coin, corn. And here... Yeah, there we go. Single spear cor uh, corn. And uh, at this point, we're going to have to go with bl a berry parcel. So that makes a little bit of progress there. We've got that experience waiting for us. Awesome. And, well, technically, we've got another electric egg ready. So we're going to get that dragon and put it right there. Perfect. We've got a little bit more food. So I guess we can level up this dragon a little bit more. And we're out of food once again. I'm happy with that, though. So that's looking fabulous there. Here, ooh, I think earlier I forgot to send my dragons to Meridian's Tower. Let's go ahead. Ooh, okay, so this is going to be a little tricky. Here, meh, we'll give it a try. Already, I'm not feeling the luck. But you will hopefully uh, learn something from this. So here... Um, you know, and I'll learn something from this as well, because here it's going to take 11 minutes. We'll come back in a couple hours, see how that goes. I'll collect some more gold, maybe refresh that food there, and we're going to keep this moving. Here, right now, 
when it comes to these eggs, here this cloud egg is gonna be ready when our dragons are done breeding. So let's go to our storage and see what eggs we have. Ooh, okay, here I'm definitely feeling the venom dragon. We're gonna go ahead and place that there. That's gonna take 15 hours to hatch, but that's gonna be a great dragon to add to our collection here. Rock on. Beautiful. Here, let's go ahead and try a little combat real quick. Ooh, I didn't see that. Corrupted quest. Okay. Awesome. Definitely want to try that here. And let's see how this goes. Our best move is going to be tumbleweed. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We're off to a great start here. Buttes McGee. Oh, two out of three. One more to go. And... Yes, we got it. Awesome. So that went super smoothly. Victory there. And, ooh, okay, so here we're gonna have to wait for six hours to come back to get more of those tokens with the Corrupted Quest. Here we can go to the Origami Cup. Let's try that. Beautiful, looking good. Awesome. Here we're gonna try Tumbleweed again, and awesome. That starts off really well there. Perfect. Oh yeah, two out of three, we're doing this. It's looking great. Here, tumbleweed isn't gonna work, so let's try our next best move, headbutt. And we've got another victory, rock on. Oh, love it. And our jelly dragon just achieved a new rank, a C minus, and I'm super stoked about that. Rock on. So here, things are set up pretty good when it comes to our battles. Ooh, arenas, awesome. So we did great in the arena here. We're gonna wanna put another dragon, just in case, well, anybody comes to attack us and for the battle that we're about to go to. I've only got two level 15 dragons right now, so let's see where we can get with this. Fingers crossed. Uh, Ooh, and that was fast. Okay, so there we just got defeated. And meh, not the best move ever, but at least we got no damage there. Uh, we might actually be able to take care of that mud dragon. Beautiful. And we're still alive. Keep it going, tumbleweed. And tumbleweed again. Come on, universe, bring it home. Okay, so now we're down to our last dragon, and we're going to go with Meteor Shower. And I think that, ooh, that saved us there. No damage. Thank you, universe. And, okay, we got this Meteor Shower. Patang, yeah. Victory is ours. That was a close one, though. So here, we're going to go collect those, and, well, that's about it for now. Here, everything's refreshed and ready to go, and I'm just gonna be patient for all of the rest to come our way. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like, and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and strategies coming soon. Stay, stay safe, everybody. Peace.